So we pretty much all have smartphones at this point, but most of us are not using them certainly as much as we could. So Joey is our tech guy and our man about town, and he has some new apps to share. Yes, and it's been a little bit, a little while because I felt like I got so oversaturated with apps that I right. kind of got turned off on them for a little bit. But these are ones I love, okay. so and I use. So the first one, I believe it's called Meal Lime okay. or Meal I Me. I, it's meal time without the T in the middle. So it's oh. the, whole, the only difficult thing is how to pronounce it. Okay, we'll but go with meal lime. Meal lime, it is a <laughs> meal planning app, and there are hundreds, but what I love about this one is you choose what type of cuisine and diet you would like, okay. and then from there they will give you a selection of options. Some you would have oh. to upgrade to a pro, which I don't. I do the free version, right. and it's just fine by me. You pick the ones you want. Right now I'm doing three meals a week, and then it breaks it down into a shopping list for you. Really? So I'm literally in the grocery store with my phone out, and it'll say, chicken, two pounds. Oh, Get, pick it up, okay. click it. My shopping life has never been easier. Really? And then wow. it just gives you a, a you know breakdown of the recipe. Okay. So this is nice if you're trying to, you know, we have great recipes on obviously our dining page, mm -hmm. but right. if you want to make something, you know, a couple nights a week, this makes it so easy. Like a for Mediterranean you. diet. Yes. And you can pick out. Yes. And it's recipes. all been pretty healthy. Wow. I don't know if those were the choices I selected in the beginning, but I highly recommend this one and don't pay for the version yet. Okay. So if you I, like oh, it, good. then if you need to upgrade, you can. Okay. Now you mentioned that you have some that help us with books, and Linda yeah. and I. Oh, I love books. Sharing yes. books back and forth furiously. Yes. So there are tons of library related apps. Mm -hmm. There are two that I want to talk about here. The first one is called LibriVox. And this one is um, a free resource of all public domain audiobooks. So you can just oh. download them right through the app. Really? Love yes. that. Oh, what's the name of that? It's called LibriVox. <laughs> now, I will tell you, there are other versions like Audible that you pay a subscription sure, yes, for. Yes, I have mm -hmm. that. Those are less yeah. clunky because you're paying for them. This is still, it, it'll, you have to play the audiobook through the app. But okay. it's all free, and it's it, it's all the amazing books. There's some classics, yeah. amazing literature, and then some newer ones. Huge selection. Oh. So there's that one's LibriVox for audio. And then if you want to, this is amazing to me, Libby. There are other versions, but I like this one. You link your <coughs> library card, your real-life library really? card, okay. and then log into your county library. So this is a screenshot of mine. It, you can check out ebooks from the library um, using nice. your own. Oh, and you nice. can see it'll show you all of the libraries in your area. So I tried to show as much of the Sun Coast as could fit on my screen. And you are, you know, you're literally borrowing their ebook. What's funny about it, though, is if someone else is, has checked out the ebook, you can't get it until they've returned until it they, oh, to it the digital Even though it's an ebook. Yes. Oh, that's fascinating. So it's just a nice way, you know, it's a nice way to keep the library alive. Oh, yeah. right, again, absolutely. There are lots of these apps, so use the one that you like, but these are two. Okay, really and then like. you brought a really fun one. We like fun. I always like to waste a little time. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> on our show, we love Jib Jab, where you can right. take an actual oh, yeah. picture of, our of someone's face, and then it puts it on an animation. Well, now it's gotten even easier with GIF Gab. Okay. So it's the same concept, except you take the faces, and you will turn them into animated GIFs, or oh. GIFs, but I still say GIFs. So, and you can customize them, and it's done pretty easily from your phone. It's a time waster. You're not going to be changing this. the world yeah, with this. Right. But I had a little <laughs> bit of fun with our hosts uh, last night prepping some specifically for you. Oh, oh that's Pam. Pam, whenever yeah. you're here, oh. it's like a little present. Oh, and Linda, Linda this is what I'm doing tonight, it's right? It's you on a Friday. <laughs> there yes. you go. And Steph, I cheer, you cheer, we all cheer. Oh, yeah, Wonder, yeah. Woman. Wonder Woman. So this Woman. one's fun. It's free gift gab. So this one, you know, you can waste yep. a little time oh, and uh, so balance fun. out that's the other cute. side of your brain. That is awesome. Yeah. All right, Joey always has fun stuff to bring. Listen, if you forget the name of these apps, because Linda's writing them down on a piece of paper, which is going to get thrown out, <laughs> or if you ever miss a segment or you want to see one again, you can always find us online or talk to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and send us an email, suncoastview at my MySunCoast.com. Coming up next, we're going to work on our golf game with a new trainer.